Programmer Mitch coming at you with another programming problem. Let's hop right into it. So this one is, oops, sorry. There we go. That's a little bit of a spoiler. Why is this not, give me that. Okay, there we go. This one is called Rotate Array. Uh, given an array, rotate the array to the right by k steps where k is non-negative. So if we have an array that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and k is 3, we rotate that uh, 3 steps. So 1 step to the right is 7, 1, 2, 3. 2 steps is 6, 7, 1, 2, 3. 3 steps is 5, 6, 7, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this 1 moves through to where the 4 was, this 2 moves where the 5 was, etc. And the 5, 6, 7 come up the, the front. Um, similarly, if we have um, another example where k equals 2, um, negative 1, negative 100, 3, 99, the negative 1 moves to where the 3 was, the negative 100 moves to where the 99 was, etc. Try to come up uh, with as many solutions as you can. There are at least three different ways to solve this problem. There are many ways to solve this problem. Uh, but could you do it in a place with O oh, one extra space? Um, so first we're going to think about it um, from a standpoint of using that um, some linear extra space, which should make it easy. So if we just have a separate array that we're copying, and then we just increase for our original array, um, where we walk through all the elements, and then the i plus kth element, we, uh, we say that that element is the ith element of our copied, then that should, that should be a, a good answer. And that's a, an, a, an interesting way to kind of think about it with a... Um, with linear extra space, so we won't we won't optimize for that just yet. So let's just go ahead and that code that out. And so in JavaScript, we can have a copy, and there's going to be an error here as a spoiler, but we're going to get to that in a little bit. And for let i equals zero, i is less than nums dot length, i plus plus. This is kind of an interesting thing. So we want to have the i plus k th thing uh, become where the i, I thing was. So nums of i plus k is going to be where the nums copy of i is. So there's also an error here, but I'll, I'll just go ahead and, and, and fix this. So the, the fourth element where the four was, that'll become a, a one. The fifth element, it's, and then the, uh, then the sixth and the seventh. The problem is that you, you kind of wrap over. So if we have a, an n, or we could just modulo the, the length. So as we wrap over, then we get to the, the correct thing. So let's go ahead and run this, and this will be wrong. So this is a wrong answer. 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1. It's like we're kind of like overriding some things. And so this is an important thing to understand for the concept of passing by our value or passing by reference. And so what happens here is that we're, when we say this const nums copy is nums, we are actually saying it is the nums. It's, it's, it's like referring to the same thing in memory. It's not making a copy of the values and making a new array. So we're like having overwrite problems. So if we go to the source of all knowledge, programming knowledge at least, Stack Overflow, and we want to copy array by value in, in JavaScript to another array, uh, one of the recommended answers is a little bit older. There's some new things that we have available to us, but dot .slice uh, clones the array and returns a reference to a new array. And also note that, and it goes on from there. So this one, we're actually getting a, a new array. The other one, if I'm just saying that it is, this um, nums, we're saying that the nums copy and the nums are referring to the same thing. So if we do the slice, excuse me, yes, yeah, slice, then we should see that we're accepted. However, we are using additional memory here we're of linear memory. We're making a nums copy. And so there are different, few different ways where you can get kind of creative of swapping things, but there's one solution that I think is, is kind, of, kind of interesting. And maybe it's a little gimmicky, but it, it might be fun to think of if we go to the big board here. So, let me just make sure. Okay, cool. We can see. 
if we have that array of input, can I actually, good, yeah, that's a little small. Let's make it bigger. So input that array of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then like before, if we do k equals three, we want to have an output, and we'll put that up here, of uh, five, six, seven, uh, one, two, three, four. So you can see the one gets moved three places over, the two gets moved uh, three places over, etc. Now, just to get to the heat of it, what happens if you reverse this input? What does that look like? Well, if we, we do some type of reverse operation, then that looks like seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So we reverse the entire array. Now that kind of looks kind of interesting because we look at five, six, seven, one, two, three, four. If we mark that right here, well, we just reverse the, these individual elements excuse me, we reverse these like subarrays, not individual elements, and then we get the output. So if we do uh, like reverse everything in place, and then we reverse again those, those, those subarrays, we, we end up getting our, what, what we're after, which is a little cute, and you probably wouldn't come up with that in in interview setting, but it uh, if someone kind of gave you, gave you some tips, um, that could be, um, that could possibly, you know, help you along and, and come to that, that, uh, that answer. So let's go ahead and write that. And that won't use any extra space. So we need to have a reverse function, which will take in an array, a start and an end. And so while the start is less than the end, then we can swap and this is new in ES6. You can you can swap like this using uh, this this kind of array notation. The the start the array start the array of end those are swapped. This is the exact same thing as using temp uh, temp variables, but just a little bit cleaner I think. And then you advance the start and you decrement the end pointers. So. Then let's say that we have a const n equals nums.length. And all we're going to do is reverse the entire thing. So we reverse nums up to 0 and n minus 1. So we get to nums.length because we're doing inclusive here. We're not, that's why we need the minus 1. Then we reverse up to the K value, also with the minus one, and then we just reverse again um, from the K value up until the end again. So that's pretty nice. This is going to error again, but let's go ahead and see what happens. It's a wrong answer. If we have an input of negative one and we do two, well, we get undefined negative one, which kind of gets messy. So our K is actually longer than our our length, and so. Similar to, uh, to before, you want to like take the remainder over that k. You want to have k be modulo the, the length. Otherwise, it doesn't really make sense. And so if we go ahead and submit the solution, yeah, we find that we're accepted. So let's, uh, those are some interesting ways. You can also like get, get creative with how you swap. But yeah, those are a couple solutions in JavaScript. Let's go ahead and write those again real quickly in Python just to show that we can. Uh, what was our first solution? So the first solution was that we wanted to make a copy, and then and we're going to have an error here. Spoiler alert! Uh, for i in the range of length of nums, we are going to do that same thing where nums of i plus k modulo uh, uh, length of nums in Python. We're going to sign that from the nums copy of i. 
Yep, and let's go ahead and submit that while I take a drink of water. Wrong answer. Um, we kind of see that, oh, we're like kind of overriding values again. And that's for the same reason. So if we go back to the source of all knowledge, Stack Overflow, the Python lists by value, not reference for a duplicate. Well, one way to do that is to just use this colon right here. So we go ahead and do that. And we will remove our error. Wouldn't that be nice if you had, if every time you had bugs, you had a little comment that just said error? That'd make life so much simpler. Good, and we're accepted. But this still is using extra memory of linear memory by making that copy. So let's go ahead and do that uh, triple swap that we did before. So we're going to write the uh, reverse function, which will be self, um, an array, probably a list in Python, but array is fine. Start and while start is less than the end, where the start is going to be advanced and end is going to be decremented. That is not Python, sorry. And then, yeah, this looks even neater in Python. You can just do assignment like this. You don't even need those uh, square brackets. Da -da -da. Okay. And, yep, so n is the length of nums k, uh, to prevent that, that overflow problem again, we do it that way, and then we just have our three reverses. We reverse the entire thing, nums from 0 to n minus 1, we reverse up until our kth element, nums 0 to k minus 1, and finally we reverse the from the kth element to the end. Let's go ahead and submit that solution. And oh, sorry. So I'm defining it like this. I have to do a self dot reverse on the solution class. Cool. So this was rotate array. We did it uh, two different ways, one using uh, some extra memory, one with constant memory. There are different ways, probably a billion times I said it during this, but I think the, the, the triple reverse is kind of a neat, uh, neat solution. So this is Programmer Mitch. Um, next week we'll be doing the contains duplicate, which is a, it's a fun problem, and I hope to see you then. Catch you later.